said earlier you have a day of sun a couple of days of rain we've had a couple of days of rain now we've got a day of sun there's a nice fresh breeze though oh this is brilliant look at that beach i haven't seen a beach like this since um i went to the gower peninsula in wales See how cold this sea is. Across this, this is the Gary Bridge. Now, this was um, built on behalf for Lord Leverhulme, who lived 1851 to 1925. What he wanted to do was link the North Ness um, to another part of the island by building a road. Um, the only problem was the First World War started, and when all the soldiers came back, they weren't very happy, they didn't want to work for him. They wanted just to go back to Crofton, which is a kind of farm, I think. But yeah, so this is part of the road he started to build. I think he gave up in the end. All the locals weren't happy. But it's a concrete bridge. Just drove over it. Um, 
I'll show you the information board. Quite interesting, I wouldn't even know it was here. But yeah, there he is. So, this bridge was commissioned by Lord Leverhulme, who owned the island of Lewis from 1918 to 1923 as part of the construction of his proposed road between Tolster and Ness. Lord Leverhulme had great plans for the island, but the timing of his projects was unfortunate as it caused conflict with the returning servicemen from the First World War who wanted land for profiting, profiting rather than work for Leverhulme. Chief engineer for the road was Alexander, Alexander Dunlop. Interesting. Lily's birthday dip in the lovely tropical sea. Go!
I'm not even going to try and pronounce this, but um, we're at this war memorial. We're going to go and have a look at it. It's quite impressive. We saw it from the road. Park the car there. And you just walk up this road apparently. This is 1914 to 1919. This is the most impressive war memorial I've seen so far. Lock me up, don't wanna leave 